Hello Godzilla fans, what's going on? It's the Poster64 and I am here with another Godzilla figure review for you. Today I am here with Bandai Japan's 6 inch Godzilla 2000. So this figure is pretty awesome. I really, really dig the spines and um, just like in the size of the tail is very nice. Um, let's check out the spines, they have a super nice like light kind of like a light purple coating and they get kind of silver and white um, as you go down kind of get to the base of them very nicely painted the um, the insides are a little bit uh, a little bit um, messy but you know I mean you can really not tell painted very nicely all the way down to the end of the end of the tail excuse me um, the face looks really good very very good um, detail on the eyes not sure how well the camera's picking that up, but very nice looking there. Teeth are nice. Um, not individually sculpted, but very, really, uh, really look nice. They're painted very well. Um, the scales go down very nicely. I like these uh, the kind of little scales on the legs. Um, and a very, so a very nice paint job and sculpt on this figure. The, the, uh, the claws look very nice too. Um, in terms of height, this guy at his head stands basically six inches. At the top of this last spike, he's, he's closer to seven. Um, lengthwise, he's just about 12 exactly. Um, let me go ahead and size him up for you. Here he is up against the Bandai Creation Godzilla 2000. So height-wise, they're almost the same. Um, face sculpt-wise, this you know, th there's a there's some pretty big differences. This guy's face is a little. Uh, here we have a little bit of like a longer face and kind of less less tall, I guess. And then on this guy, the spines are much deeper purple, and I, I definitely prefer the uh, the lighter purple, kind of, I don't know what color you'd call it, magenta, is that a thing? I don't know. And then, um, tail-wise, much longer on the Bandai Japan version, um, but mostly because Bandai Creation always stiffs you on the tail length to fit the figures into the box. Um, here we have another sizing, um, Bandai Japan Orga figure. Um, so this is, meh, I feel like Orga should be a little bit bigger, but, um, I mean, it sizes pretty well for all, uh, most purposes. So he sizes well with all your six-inch standard figures, very beautiful paint job, looks really good. Um, let's really quick take a look at the tag. Here you have a picture from him, uh, just from the movie on the front. Flip it around to the back, you got this nice, um, art. In the back, Godzilla 2000. I assume this is Godzilla. Yes, it's Godzilla. Um, and then you open it up and you just have your kind of words. Um, so yeah, there you have. There's the tag. There's the figure. Um, I got so I got this guy. Um, found him on eBay for about thirty-five dollars. Um, and that's a, that's about what you'll you'll be able to get this guy for. Um, don't think much cheaper will come around. Um, but if it does, go ahead and pick it up. If you if you're interested in this figure, 35 is a nice uh, nice uh, price to pay for it. Definitely worth it. Very glad I picked this figure up. Um, interesting thing. I actually thought that was, uh, when I ordered this figure, I was under the impression it was the 8 inch figure, just because the way the pictures were taken, it looked really big, and it didn't say specifically. So I was kind of under the impression this was the 8 inch model. Um, but uh, getting the 6 inch model is not not a problem because I'm very very happy. With um, with it, very nice figure, really good. Definitely would recommend it out to anyone who's interested in it. And uh, yeah, that's a that's about all I have to say. So uh, stay tuned for more figure reviews. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later.